from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the Great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Welcome to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Well, today we're heading to Chalmette, Louisiana to see coverage from the 2015 IFA Redfish Tour Championship. We're then heading to South Texas to join Angel Middleton as she shows us how she prepares some of the camp's favorite meals in the Bradley Smoker. But first, we're meeting up with Wade Middleton as he travels up to Montana in search of a big white-tailed buck. It is well below 30 this morning. I don't even know with the wind chill probably down. 15, 16, we're trying to get geared up. You can see there's white stuff on the ground. We're up in Montana and we're going on a whitetail hunt. The rut is just kind of kicking off, so it ought to be pretty good. But I'll tell you one thing, this is a little bit unusual. I'm used to a little bit warmer conditions, but when you get a chance to go hunt Montana in the rut, you don't turn it down. property in backdrop is just stunning if you if you like scenery or if you're a hunter like I am you know you got snow covered mountains all around all these beautiful draws and, and drainages and, and lots and lots of wild game when I first had the opportunity to come up here to go on this hunt it was exciting to me first off because I was going to get to spend some time with you know one of my oldest friends in the industry Tim Snell you know Tim and I been working together I mean it's not quite two decades but we're getting pretty close to it and, and I've seen the growth of Stealth Cam through that period of time and all the other brands that he works with now like Walker's Game Air and Cyclops, American Hunter Feeder Max and, and many more so you know to come spend time with somebody that you spend a lot more time with in the field now was, was an exciting opportunity in its own self. You know, Ben and I had, had have turkey hunted a little bit down in Texas. He's coming to visit us at our place, and, and he and I were talking strategy on this, and he had a lot of good insight on places to go and how to set up. So we were starting out real high on a lot of these ridges, and the amount of game that you would see every time you sit down was, I mean, you would lose count at a couple hundred every time. Born and raised in Wisconsin most of my life. I've been living in Texas now for approximately two and a half years. Uh, and Montana is just such a different feel. It's just such open country. Out here, you just feel like you can see forever. Uh, that's just one thing I love about it. You know, it really, you spend a lot more time glassing out here than you probably would on some other hunts. You know, you can literally sit there and glass for four or five hours straight. It's cold. It's 30. The wind's howling. You know, we're bundled up as much as, as we can be, and we're just watching this steady parade of deer come out across. But there is this one particular little funnel that the deer, they just really liked. You'd see them chasing there, and every now and then you'd see a big body deer cut through some brush, and you really couldn't tell a lot about him. But we knew that was a pretty key focal point, and it wasn't long, probably about 10 o'clock on that day, that a couple of big ones showed up out in front. Actually, there's two bucks getting ready to fight over there now. One's a decent one. Oh no, he's good. That's a yeah, shame. He's a pretty good buck. Both of us are glassing almost nonstop while we're up there. And we had seen a couple of good bucks, you know, the day before in this one little pocket, and we had seen another deer come out and kind of posture, and we felt like that's where we needed to be. And then all of a sudden, here comes this big buck coming out of that brush and coming dead at us. He might come down over here. It's nerve wracking when, you, when a deer is running in and he's coming in and, and you're trying to communicate and you're trying to determine it's a shooter. We knew it was a shooter. We had seen this deer a long ways away and, and Kevin and I have worked together a long, long time. And you know, we don't have to say much. And when Kevin said, got him, I took the safety off because I thought the next hole he come out was gonna be perfect for me to be able to take this shot. When he stepped out and I threw my rifle up, all I could see was deer, but between me and that deer was branches. I never had what I felt like was a clear, good, concise shot. Didn't matter how close he was. Didn't matter how big he was. I just, 
I just didn't feel like I could take that shot. I wanted to take that shot. The safety was off. I was ready to go. I was on fire, but he just finally disappeared. We just never saw him again. When we return, Wade gets his shot at his Montana buck. It's in our stomping grounds and our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Gill that I've used for the last five years has been a far superior product than anything else on the market. The main thing that's really important to me is me being dry. I've been wearing Gill suits now for three years and never once have I gotten wet. What I love about the Bradley Smoker is that it cooks everything perfectly and it holds all the juices in. So today we are going to be smoking some barbecue ribs, some venison sausage, and some dove, which is awesome. You will never grill me doves again. <laughs> I have to have them in the Bradley Smoker. I would prefer to use the Bradley Smoker every time I cook. Well, that's really true because I love this thing. No lie. For more recipes, log on to bradleysmoker.com. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. At Yamaha, reliability is a family tradition. Meet the next generation. Four new advanced technology inspired inline four cylinder performers. Bred from the reliability and boater satisfaction that is part of Yamaha's DNA. They prove that when power gets lighter, faster, stronger, and smarter, boating gets even better. And more satisfying for boaters like you. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. And by Nikon Sport Optics. Trust, earned Nikon. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Now, while up in the Rocky Mountains, Wade is on a hunt for a mature whitetail buck on Tim Snell's ranch in Montana, hoping that the right buck comes into range. The realization was beginning to sink in to me that what a great week in Montana. My tag was going home with me, no matter, you know, I wasn't gonna shoot a small buck. He was gonna have to be a big one. And, so, you know, we started gearing up and packing up and we, we jumped in the Viking and we're kind of just meandering around looking at some other property and scouting around and, you know, anything's possible in the rut. You just never know. And this was fixing to become one of those moments. We're on the back side of the ranch and we're looking back towards one of the pivots we had set up on early in the, in the hunt, looking back towards the creek bottom. There's half a dozen whitetail bucks bedded down. <laughs> this one's got a rack on him. We kind of devised in a plan to drive all the way around the ranch. I mean, this is a big piece of property. It took us 15, 20 minutes to drive down these hills and around these turns, down in these valleys. And that buck was bedded down and he was locked on that doe. So, you know, we're going hiking. We get to working up that hill and stop and catch our breath after, after a long walk and I'm kind of glassing around and I can see one of the young bucks that this buck has pushed off this doe sitting to the side and he's kind of looking at us and I, I know I've got to get a little further so we kind of ease up, we get set up and I poke my head up and 80 yards away, 80 yards away, I can see this buck's antlers and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, we were, 
this is better than pond hopping as a kid. We have got to the pond. We are here at the, the Mecca. He's right there. And, and, and Kevin can't see. You can't see him unless you're up. You see the pole. Just right at the end of that sage. Right there. The stark sage. He's... Like you said. He gets moved one feet, so I'm trying to move one foot more, so I've got a good angle. That one foot, that one final move. They jump up and they go zero to 90. And I'm on my shooting sticks and I've got him. You know, if you've hunted long enough, you've seen that look, you've, you've shot, you've missed. And I say it all the time, I'd rather have a clean miss than, than, than a hit. I guess I missed range that deal in my mind. I did not have time to range that long distance out there where, where they, they could have gone and I probably would, might not have ranged that spot anyway. And I'm always a believer in telling people, use a range finder. It's a situation that, that I just didn't get it up. May not have mattered, I may have still have missed. And that deer's running and chasing, and I'm thinking, anything can happen. Anything can happen when a buck is with a doe. I mean, they lose all consciousness. They, they don't care a lot of times when that's going on. And, and I'm tracking him and following him, but in my, my mind, he's at 450, and then he's at 500, and then he's at 600, and the next thing I know, he's climbing a mountain right on that doe's tail. Good breeder. kidding me? I may be eating my tag today. That's okay after a deal like that. That buck's genetics was just supposed to be passed on. It's about all I can say because I, I mean a clean miss and then to watch a deer run off and breed on the side of a mountain with this backdrop. <laughs> I'm just not supposed to get him. <laughs> wow. I need a helicopter to airlift me out after that. Americana Outdoors is giving a whitetail deer hunt in South Texas, guided by Americana Outdoors staff member Wade Middleton. This hunt will take place in December of 2016, just in time for some great rutting action in South Texas, and will be filmed for Americana Outdoors. Sign up today to win at AmericanaOutdoors.com. Hey, and don't forget to check out the latest trail cameras from StealthCam at StealthCam.com. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because uh, now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Woo! Oh, nice shot. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic eyes. The Bubba Blade is the ultimate sportsman's knife for fishing. One cut and you're through, guys. Kind of like butter. Just like butter. Hunting. You can see it just took that right off. Camping or just carving up meat at the barbecue. If you've got a sportsman in the family, they're going to want to have a Bubba Blade knife. The super sharp edge and the large patented handle that gets sticky when wet makes the Bubba Blade the perfect sportsman's knife. The handle protects your hands from the blade and the trigger grip and thumb pads let you have total control of the knife. The Bubba Blade comes in different styles and sizes to fit the need of every sportsman. So whether it's for the boat, hunting, camping, 
or just for slicing meat at a barbecue, the Bubba Blade is the ultimate knife for the sportsman. Go online at BubbaBlade.com to order your Bubba Blade today. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. And by Arctic Ice, we put the cool in coolers. We are in Chalmette, Louisiana. We're in St. Bernard Parish. We're here for the 2015 IFA Redfish Tour Championship, presented by Cabela's. You know, the special thing about the championship, you've got everybody coming together. All the top anglers from all the divisions, they're meeting in one spot. Like they've always said, the cream's going to rise to the top, bro. Day one of the IFA Redfish Tour Championship turned out to be a slugfest under near-perfect conditions. Put them in the boat. Got one! Back at weigh-in, the father-son team of Charlie and Cody Barton brought two that pushed the scales to 17.22. This is my son's first year, and that's what makes it so awesome to me. Just being able to be in a situation like this with your son, it's just like a dream come true. Chad Dufresne and Barney White locked up the top spot with a day one weight of 17.66, anchored by a nine-pound giant. 17.66, great job on that one right there. We've only been fishing together exclusively for a couple of years and we've done real well, but we hadn't closed the end of the year out. We were wanting to close that end of the year out bad. Looking at the Cabela's leaderboard, less than a pound separates first place from 10th, and realistically, anybody inside the top 30 has a chance. Moving right into day two, Mother Nature has thrown the field a little curveball. The wind's blowing about 20 miles an hour out of the east. The sight fishing is going to be kind of difficult, I think, for a lot of guys, but the guys that have small boats and get them small ponds, they should do good. With the high winds come muddy water, and when that muddy water pushes up onto the flats, the fish move. And that can be discouraging if you're sitting on top and there's more than $100,000 on the line. If we can catch our fish, I think we'll be okay. It's just going to be very tough with this wind, to boat position, everything. I think that's where our fire pole's going to come into real good play today. We're going to have to utilize it uh, extensively today to, to catch our fish. We're going to have to probably pull down when we know where the fish are and just sit and wait on them. Uh, and hopefully they'll come up to the top where we can see them. We'll catch up with the leaders later. For now, we'll check in with the second place team of Cody and Charlie Barton. Totally different. Water's at least a foot and a half higher. What happens, northeast wind, all this water gets pushed up towards the river, right? It all gets pushed up and it all comes up before it dumps. So that's what happened now. This wind come in and you can see the water. It was like a foot and a half, maybe even two foot lower yesterday. Fighting muddy waters and rising winds, the Bartons struggled most of the morning until a late afternoon hookup gave them some hope. Bigger than what we got. Bigger than what we got. That's, that's a big help right there, huge help. That was like a three pound upgrade. Woo! Finally our first seven pounder going in the well. Yes. Feels a little better. The day one leaders, Dufresne and White, were also having a rough time of it, yeah. with most of their fish falling outside the Louisiana slot limit. That's what we're dealing with right here every Every fish, you just gotta pray that one measure sooner or later. 
but the only way to win is to play with big fish. You have to fish big fish to win, and when they bite big, you bite big, but sometimes it bites back. Beck and Shell met at the end of day two. Word quickly got out to Dufresne and White that their lead was in jeopardy. Jamie Huff and Ryan Tiernan had come in early, weighing two for 17 pounds and a two-day total of 3402. They need 1681 to take the lead from you guys, Charlie and Cody Barton. Needing 16.81, the Bartons fell a little short, falling down to 20th with a two-day total of 3167. Well, there's only one team left away, Chad Dufresne and Barney White. We had to do a lot of blind casting today. We, uh, we caught a bunch of uh, small fish and a bunch of overs. We just couldn't catch the right ones because we couldn't be selective. We couldn't sight fish, which is our strength. They had a 1766 on day one. They're looking for a 1637 is all you need to take the lead. We're gonna put that first one in there, Barney, and see what it's gonna go. Gingerly in there, 757, 757. That is definitely on lines, what we want. We're gonna put this in there. When we get this read out, they're looking for an 880. If it's 880 or better, we've got a winner in Chad and Barney. If not, Joey and Ryan have got it won. We're gonna let it go and see what it goes. Looking for an 880, not quite, 794, 1551. That means that Brian and, and uh, Jamie are your 2015 IFA Redfish Tour champions. And that does it. For their efforts, Huff and Tiernan will take home a prize package worth more than $42,000, including a brand new Yamaha powered Ranger boat. You know, these are some of the best anglers, uh, Redfish anglers in the world. So, I mean, it's, they're, they're top notch. I mean, that's why they're here. Um, I mean, uh, that's what makes uh, this, you know, th this is our craft. And to be able to come here and beat some of these guys that I've been fishing with for seven, eight years and know them, it's a good feeling, it really is. To learn more about the IFA Redfish Tour, visit ifatours.com. Hobie kayaks provide the ultimate lightweight fishing platforms that will offer anyone what they want when it comes time to hit the water. Hobie kayaks commitment to innovation, quality and owner satisfaction is unparalleled in the industry. So when it's time for you to go kayaking, remember there's only one name to remember. And that's Hobie kayak. cooler it's incredible just look at this lid what a powerhouse it's so freaking strong so reliable i just want to boom this silicone gasket's better than rubber why hello there are your base and side walls way thicker for superior insulation oh yes after 10 days still cold still fresh let's hear yeti do that with angle coolers it's official the yeti is busted I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. 
There's two things between an angler and the fish, the sun and the bugs. Sawyer's line of sunscreens and bug sprays keep you focused on the fish. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen Formula bonds with your skin for a more comfortable and better level protection. And Picaridin Insect Repellent will only harm the bugs, never your fishing gear. Also, Sawyer Permethrin repels and kills on contact over 55 species of insects. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Do All Outdoors. Hi Viz, see what you've been missing. And by Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras. The game has changed. Now, as many of you know, when you're at the deer camp, eating well is a must. Join Angel Middleton as she prepares some of the Americana Outdoors staff's favorite meals in the Bradley Smoker. Hey, we're here at camp. I'm making some snacks for the guys. I've got jalapenos, I got bacon, cream cheese, and uh, we're gonna put that all together, throw it in our Bradley Smoker, and it's gonna be really a good snack for the guys. First, we're gonna take our jalapeno, and I'm gonna core it out. So we're gonna cut it like this, Cut it long ways, and here we go. We're gonna put some cream cheese in there. Fill it just like that. And then take a piece of bacon, and then we wrap it up just like that. And then I like to put uh, Cajun seasoning on mine. And here we go, it's going in our Bradley smoker. I like to smoke it at 220. We're gonna put them in there for about an hour and a half and we will have a taste tester standing by. Okay, now that I got the jalapenos in the smoker, I'm gonna make some venison, smoked bacon wrap, cream cheese. You can see I got some here already pre-made and I'm gonna show you here what I do. I take my knife here and I cube the back strap. These are pretty healthy pieces. Just cut them here in half. And I like to season mine, again, with Cajun seasonings before I even wrap it. Take a wallop of jalapeno flavored cream cheese. Get a nice little jalapeno in there. Smush it in there. And then wrap it like this. And you sort of want to wrap it all the way around to keep all the juices inside and the cheese from melting out. Just like that. Voila. Right on top of our jalapeno poppers. We're gonna come back in about an hour and a half and do the taste test. There we go. Yep, they look good to me. I think the guys are gonna love this. You be the judge. <laughs> We're gonna let these cool for about 10 minutes and let the guys do a taste test. What I love most about the Bradley Smoker is I can prepare this in less than like 10 minutes, turn the smoker on, put it in there for about an hour and a half in our Bradley Smoker, and it nothing's gonna dry out. It's, it's gonna be juicy, it holds in all the juice and the flavors of the meat. It's, it's wonderful, it tastes great. Uh, we love our Bradley Smoker, we use it all the time. All right guys, I need a taste test. Big who's who's <laughs> And be honest. There you go. Well, we let it cool for about 10 minutes, so you let me know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you approve? Mm. It's Hunter approved. approved. <laughs> Why not? Hey, if you're interested in taking your outdoor cuisine to a whole new level, visit bradleysmoker.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time on Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production.